Have you ever crossed a line you thought that you would never cross? The first time I stared at this syringe, I wasn't sure if I could get myself to plunge it into my skin and inject myself. 21 shots, one shot a week for 21 weeks. And in 21 weeks, I had planned to stand on a stage just like this one in a bodybuilding competition. Now, it's not easy for me to stand up here in front of a room full of strangers and admit this, but the first time that I injected anabolic steroids, I was scared out of my mind. I was scared because I didn't know how my body was going to react. I was scared because I didn't know if the liquid in this syringe was made in a science lab or in somebody's basement. And one of the strangest warning signs that probably should have stopped me is when I held up that little glass bottle of steroids and the label read, for veterinary use only. <laughs> Why? Why would anyone go to these extremes? Well, as I stared at this syringe, I had one thought and one thought only. And that was that I have never looked in the mirror and ever saw my body as beautiful. But I knew that I wanted that more than anything else in the world. So it all came down to this one question. How far was I willing to go to get my dream body? In bodybuilding, going to the extremes and being hardcore is encouraged. We've all heard the catchphrases. You got to go hard or go home. No pain, no? And my personal favorite, it's going to take blood, sweat, and tears. tears. I had plenty of those. You see, up until the age of 15, I was severely overweight. The first time I took my shirt off in the boys' locker room, the insults came fast and furious. I was bullied, I was teased, and I was ridiculed. And I was a sensitive kid. I just couldn't hold the tears back. And it wasn't just at school. It was at home, too. I can remember hearing my parents talk about me. He's getting too big. we got to get him on a diet. It's not healthy to be that fat. Does he like girls yet? You know, he's never going to get a girlfriend if he stays that fat. And you know what? I couldn't get a girlfriend. All the girls that I liked just wanted to be friends. And I knew that if my body stayed this way, nothing was going to change. Sweat. I started working out till exhaustion. Soon I started to trade those teardrops for drops of sweat, slowly dissolving my former self until I lost 85 pounds. And my life changed completely. My confidence went way up. And those same girls who had rejected me suddenly wanted my attention. The formula seemed so simple. The better my body got, the better my life seemed to get. And on the outside, you would think that I looked healthy. But on the inside, I was anything but healthy. I was crash dieting, working out till exhaustion, and my body dysmorphia was out of control. Every time I looked in the mirror, I hated the reflection that I saw. So I had to just keep pushing to get my dream body. 21 shots. On the first shot, I had one steroid in this syringe. By the last shot, I had five. You got to go hard or go home, right? More like go hard and go to the hospital. On a routine day, I strolled into the washroom, did my business, and got the shock of my life. I had pushed my body so far, I was pissing blood. Oh. How far would I go to get my dream body? I went way too far, way across the line. And what I learned in my journey from fat to fit, through all the blood, the sweat, and the tears, is that being healthy, it's not just about our bodies. Being healthy is also about the relationship we have with ourselves. We have to eat healthy and go to the gym because we love our body, yes. not because we hate it. In life, we don't get 21 shots. Yes. We only get one shot, one shot at a great life. 
So the next time you're staring in the mirror and you're about to cross that line into body shame, don't. Instead, love your body. Accept it. Because we only get one body. One body and one shot. Thank you.